13, I want to talk about this one because it covers a couple things that will help us with the problem solving. I know there's still probably people in here that are stumped that aren't doing or have the trouble that most of us have. The most common mistake people will have is how do I figure out which formula to use? Okay? And that's why I do these steps, and it might seem like it's a stupid thing to do, it might seem like it's a waste of time, or you're supposed to just do this in your head, but it will help you solve these problems and help you get, get down what to do. Okay? So for question 13 is the best example of it. So we have, first is just find the numbers and the units, wherever they are. Okay, so I have, for numbers, I have 3 meters per second squared. Okay? And if you're not sure, you just have your very important list, and you can look on the paper and say, all right, meters per second squared, what is that? Acceleration. So you write A next to it. A equals 3 meters per second squared. Then we have our 30 seconds. Seconds are going to be what? Time. Time. So you say T is equal to 30. Okay? Now besides that, there's not a lot of numbers in there. Or at least they're not blaring it at your face. But there are a couple implied. So let me first write down the other thing. What am I asking for in 13? Displacement. Now, here's the deal. Displacement is really, 95% of the time, displacement and initial position are the same thing. Okay? If I walk, if I start here and I walk two meters, okay, my displacement, the distance from where I started, is two meters. But if I didn't say where that initial position is, then I can just assume it's zero. So then that means my final position is zero, or is, is two meters also. Okay, so if I don't care where I start from, it's not like Devin Thomas starting in the five meter line and catching a football. I don't care where this is. I don't, I don't ask for initial position, or I don't give it to you. Just say xi is zero. Okay, and that means my displacement, how far I am from where I started, and my final position can both be the same thing. All right, so I'm going to say for all of these, anytime you see something with meters or any kind of distance or position, just put xf slash d, because that means you could use the, the big ugly, or you could use the second formula, vf squared. Okay? Now, so that equals question mark. That's what we're looking for. Now, like I just said, if I don't ask for <coughs> or give you the initial position, then that is going to be an implied that xi equals zero. Okay, and you might want to write in your notes. Okay, there's going to be some implies. And you'll, we'll find some more down the road. But here are, some, here are two implies that, or at least the first one, if I don't ask for, or if xi is not given, or asked for, then you can say xi equals zero. Okay, 95% of the time, you'll just get used to writing xi is zero. If I don't say he starts here, or I don't say where does he start, just put it as an xi equals zero. <coughs> okay, so there's an extra given that you can add to your column. <coughs> All right, now, one more. There's one more implied in this problem. Read through that question and see if you see a key word that could tell you a little bit more. There's one word in that problem that is another implied. Starts from rest. Rest. So rest is another implied word that actually gives you a little information. What do you think rest means? Some kind of velocity is zero. Yeah, in this case, because it says starts from. But if you ever see the word rest in any problem, you know that some kind of velocity is zero. It might be initial. <coughs> it might be final. depends on what I say. You know, you might have to read in a little bit more. But you ever see the word rest in a problem, you know that the velocity or there is a velocity that's zero. 